The telco world is changing from being infrastructure-centric to customer-centric. In that new world, we're faced with much more competition than we ever have had before. And at the same time, there are many more new opportunities to deliver values, value to customers. So we need to be able to do innovation in a way that both makes us competitive and de delivers new ways of connecting customers to the technologies that they want to use in a simple and intuitive way. Um, to do that, we have to be entrepreneurial. And being entrepreneurial means that we actually not only have to do new things, but we have to do them in a new way. And it's that combination of technology leadership and entrepreneurialism which we're seeking in the, the new way in which we do innovation. It's not too grandiose to say that I really do want to change the world. We in Telstra have the opportunity to do that and the capability to do that. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to go out and change the way Australians live, to change the way we work, to change the way we play, to make our companies more productive, to make Australia the best place to live in, um, to make our health system the most efficient in the world. And we in Telstra are working in an in industry that enables all those things to happen and Telstra has the capability to be the leader, is the leader in Australia on those types of activities. So we are going to change the overall way in which telcos operate and we're going to do that on a global basis. In an infrastructure centric world we're really only competed with other local players. In a customer centric world we're competing on a global basis that, which means that really in order to be competitive in this new world of innovation that we're pursuing and the new services that Telstra will be delivering we have to compete with global players and that literally means we have to be the best in the world. I think it's fair to say that in Australia, not only are we the biggest technology game in town, we're the only technology game in town. And Australia is a great place in which to do this type of activity because it's a terrific place to live which attracts good people to come here. And at the same time it's also not an innovative and entrepreneurial environment. So, on, Telstra has the, the capability and the opportunity to be a leader in this field and that's what I think will make us different and distinguish us. The successful candidate will be straight into the thick of things. We've got a batch of projects on the go at the moment where we're trying to make these things work. They're challenging, they're difficult and they need a lot of clever input. Um, for example, it may seem that the smart home is a, an old idea, but in fact, building a smart home in a way that's cheap and easy for uh, customers to use is not at all easy. And um, we're busy right in the thick of trying to make that work and we're looking for people to, to push that along. Uh, we're gonna have people working straight on blue sky ideas, which we're trying to figure out um, the next generation of services, things like augmented reality, how do they work, how can we create a user experience that's valuable to the customer, how do we make money out of it. And we're also trying to define the technologies, the emerging technology strategies for our fundamental infrastructure. The way in which IP networks are being built is changing. There's a new technology called OpenFlow on the horizon which is as seminal and differentiating as TCP IP was in the 1970s. This is probably the biggest change in the IP technology since the birth of the internet. And we've got to figure out what that means for us quickly because this is coming down the track like a steam train. Candidates can expect three things, challenge, development and creativity. Challenge because we're trying to play in the first division on a global basis and win. Development because we're working at the forefront of global technologies and trying to get to grips with how we're going to apply these in our business. And creativity because we're trying to make new opportunities work here. We're trying to be entrepreneurial and creative and innovative and that will certainly stretch people's creative abilities. So one of the great things about these jobs is there's just endless opportunity going forward for people to expand. Um, the jobs involve both technological skill and commercial skills. So 
people can take multiple different directions from these roles. They can go in a technological direction and work with our engineering teams and building the next generation of technologies. They can go into our commercial teams and build the next generation of products. They could even go into our marketing areas and envisage the types of products that people will want in the future. So the opportunities to expand in multiple directions really depend on the individual and where they want to take them.